Hello, this is David Rice, and today I will be replacing my AMD Athlon X2 5000 Plus. That's an AM2 Plus processor on an AM2 Plus board with an AM3 AMD Athlon 2 X4 640. Now, because I have, I've already done my BIOS upgrade, updates, and this board is now AM3 ready. Let's take a look at the processor right now. The current processor is sitting right there, nice and pretty. Well, the new one is still in its box. Let's take a look at unboxing that one. So we're going to very carefully open the box. Which I have already break, broken the seal. Okay. As you can see, here we have our. Uh, this is the cardboard box with our heat sink in it. If you can see in there, that's our uh, heat sink with the thermal compound on it. Documentation. And the processor itself with a nice little sticker. Here are our new parts that are ready to go in. And as you can see, we have this little processor that we want out. But before you do anything else, you should make sure you are grounded and David is a bad boy and needs to get the wrist strap on if it'll come back to him. And uh, with one hand, because he's holding the camera with the other hand. Really should hire a cameraman. And uh, clip the other, clip the clip uh, onto your case so you're grounded to it. I'm just gonna clip it right there. So now I'm grounded, and now I'm going to uninstall this processor. I'm gonna first go in here, pull this clip to the unlocked position, and then going to Get a, oh, you can't see past my video card, can you? Get that clip off. Get the other side of the clip off. Sorry, I have big hands. And now, as per what I've seen, I am to wiggle. To break the seal. That came off nicely. Oh, and before I should have done that, I should have unclipped my, well not unclipped, unplugged, Ooh. my uh, processor heatsink from the motherboard. And now, as you can see we have our, I'll get some shade on there so you can see it, uh, our processor with our thermal compound all over it. I'm now going to pull this processor out of here. Make sure not to touch anything but to the sides. And there she is. And there is our AM2 socket. <sighs> oh. Dusty in there. <sighs> and here is our AM, there's our new processor. Now, right now, I'm going to do something so I will have two arms. So sorry if the view does not look quite that pretty. I'm going to pull this processor out. Put this processor in. Wipe my hand off. Put the processor in the other hand. And then I'm going to pick up the camera. Because it's a very important step. So now we have our AMD Anth Athlon. 2 4x640 ready to go in. Very important step here. We see the golden triangle with the golden compass. Make sure you don't touch any of the pins on the bottom. Look for the golden triangle, which is really it's there, trust me. Then we have our uh, little and go right there. There it is. So we're just gonna place the processor 
in the socket. There you go, no force needed. Wiggle it, just make sure it's set in there nicely, and then pull the arm down, and it's locked. It's locked in there, it's not moving. Now we are going to take our heat sink. Um, remove the plastic cover off the bottom. There she goes. Now we have our heat sink. We have our clip on the side. It goes right there as I we just uninstalled it. Get the cable out of the way. But now, now just gently place the heat sink on the processor. We're going to that arm on. That arm is on. Now I'm just going to gently turn the arm a tad bit of force because it's a clip into the locked position. And there it is. I'm now going to plug the power connector in just like I Unplugged it. Uh. There we go. It's all nice and installed. Now before I do anything else, as per the instructions I have seen, I'm going to plug the power in. I'm going to turn the case on after I get my just had a discharge cable out of there. Let's see. It all spins up nicely. 